radical expressions. Ready, class? Yeah! Yay, ma? Yay, ma! All right. Never gets old. Okay. So, first, you probably know how to simplify the square root of 9. Remember to speak up. If you have a question or a thought, I want to hear it. And uh, I'm going to do the same. So, what's the square root of 9? 3, but what's a radical? A radical is the square root. Oh, okay. Good question. These little things are radical. That's an 80s expression for cool. Or they're just square roots. <laughs> you know, you can call them root or whatever. Okay, so what does square root of 9 mean? I don't know. Someone else. Three. What does it mean? The base? No, what does it mean? Where it comes from. Oh, like, it's, if there's 3 times 3 is 9, but I don't know how Okay, what number times itself equals 9? Ah. Yeah. What number times itself equals 9? Three. 3. Okay, 3. What number times itself equals 100? Yes? 10. 10. Okay. Wait, Mr. Dude. Yes? So it's kind of like, it's the opposite of, like, squaring? I mean, like, yes. I mean, like, Okay. It's the opposite of squaring. That's what I call it, square root. Oh. Kind of get to the root of the matter. That makes sense. Square root. So 10 squared is 100. Okay, what number times itself equals 8? Now we're getting into it. Is there a number? A whole number? No. 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 So we have to do something else. What is it approximately? Approximately, what is it? Just so we know. Three. Three. Is it more than three or less than three? Or 3.5. 3.5? Well, if the square root of nine is three, wouldn't the square root of eight be less than three? So it's like 2.5. Yeah. Maybe, would it be closer to three or 2.5 or? Closer to three. Closer maybe to three. Maybe like 2.8. Maybe 2.8. That's my best guess, too. 2.8 or 2.9. Just so we know, that's what it is. All right. Watch the door there. Okay. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to actually split this into factors in which one of them is a perfect square. I'll show you what I mean. First and foremost, what is a perfect square? Four. Yes? Four. Okay, what is the definition of a perfect square? Yes? When there's a number that like times itself. A number times itself. Let's make a list of all the perfect squares here. Going vertically, because vertical is fun, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm standing vertically. Yeah. The sky was horizontal. Never yeah, mind. Any number the joke's done. Square? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. What's one times one? One. one. What's two times two? Four. Four. Next. Six. Nine. Nine. Three times three. Oh. Four times four? Sixteen. Five times five? Twenty-five. Six times six? Thirty-six. More? Forty-nine. More! More! 81. 100. 100. More? Yeah. 121. 121. 121. More? More? Uh, one. <laughs> Let me calculate. One. 20. 169. That's what I meant. <laughs> okay, let's leave it at there. Lucky number 13. Okay. These are the list of perfect squares. Okay. What we need to do now is split the 8 into factors in which one of them is the perfect square. So, factors means what multiplies to 8. So, what two numbers multiply to 8 in which one of them is in this list? 4. 4 times two. what? 2. two. Alright. Here. 4 times 2. Many other teachers will do this different ways. They do what's called a factoring tree. This is my way. So, feel free to do it another way if you know. So 4 times 2, now that we wrote it like this, because 4 times 2 is equal to 8, we split it like so. Any problems with that? Yeah. Square root of 4 times square root of 2? Yes? Don't you make the square root of 4 just 2? That's the next step. That's the next step. The reason we did that was for the next step, square root of 4 is equal to 2. Square root of 2 we can't simplify anymore. So this is the answer. So the square root of 8 simplifies to 2 root 2, or 2 rad 2, or 2 times the square root of 2. Nice. 
All right, let's do another one. We'll leave that one up as an example. Okay. Square root of 27. So, what is the first step? Say it loud. Um, you were saying it, go. You factor. Factor in which? One of the factors? Um, nine. Is a perfect square, and nine is one of those factors, yeah. So, that's my horse. <laughs> Except my leg. <laughs> the horse, and my other leg is the giddy up. Don't, do you have a horse? <laughs> you don't have a horse? What's wrong with I you? Have you have a pony? You uh -huh. have a pony? You have a little donkey? Sister. I have a little sister. Yeah, I have a little sister and brother. <laughs> <laughs> Stay focused, people. Okay. One of the factors is a perfect square? Nine. Nine. So now let's do the two letter technique. Nine times. Nine. Oh. Alright, so what's the square root of nine, dear? Um, three. Now we're playing all the animals' parts today. Okay, so we're done with the animals. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So, questions on this? Yes. Yes, please. You have the. Never mind. Square root of nine is what? <coughs> three. Square root of three stays the square root of three, and that's it. So, that's it in a nutshell. Let's do a bigger numbers. That's no. All right, now, who can explain what we're doing with the 9 and 3 again in their own words? Factoring. Um, factoring in which what? <coughs> no, what is, factoring in what manner? One of the factors is what? A perfect square. A perfect square. One of the factors is a perfect square. Okay. For example, let's do 20. Okay. Wouldn't you agree that when you're factoring 20, you could do 10 times 2? 10 times 2 works, but are 10 or 2 perfect squares? No. Oh, so one of them has to be a perfect one square? One of them has to be a perfect and square. And that would be? That would be? Four. Four, four times five. And five. That's right. That's the idea. So you don't, I'm going to put here ten times two, and I'm going to cross this out. This is, we don't, we avoid, we avoid this, because none of them are perfect squares. None of them are perfect squares. Four is. Four is. Okay. Do you get it now? Thank you for the, thank you for checking in. It's okay. She gets it. Okay, this is, now can we write this as 2? Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 5 remains. That's it. Okay, I'm going to add to this instruction now. Not only do you want one of the factors to be a perfect square, you want one of the factors to be the largest possible perfect square. The largest possible perfect square. And here comes the classic example. I've had trouble with this one when I was your age. I got this one wrong, I remember. 48. All right, we're going to have fun with 48. So, what are some factors of 48 in which one of them is a perfect square? Um, 16. 16, good. 16 times what? 16 times 4. 16 times 3. 16 times 3, good. Oh, yeah. 16 is in this list. Yes, it is. And it's the largest perfect square factor. Notice. 16 times 3. Very nice. So, the square root of 16 becomes... 4. 4. And Many three. times people make the mistake and they write square root of 4. That's the big no-no. It's not square root of 4. It's 4 square root, right? It's the square, square root of 16, four, which is 4, the number 4. The four, square root of 16 is 4. 4 times square root. Right, because it's 4 times 4. Please don't make the mistake of writing square root of 4 here after writing square root of 16. What do you mean square root? Like how would you write square root people, of 4? People write this. People go from here to here. Incorrect. Square root of 16 is what? 
4. That's why it's outside the square root. All right. So 4 root 3. What if you didn't know or you couldn't realize that 16 was a factor of 48 and you said, I want to use 4? Watch what happens. So write the square root of 48 again, please. And write 4 times. OK, 4 times what is 48? 48. Um, no? Um, Come on, anyone? 12? Yeah. 12. All right. Wait, Mr. Duda, I just have a question. question. Yes. Is that the answer? This four is the answer. Okay. 4 root 3. What about that? Now we're going to get to the same answer a different way now. Now I'm a, I'm a different student now who's looking at square root of 48. And I say, oh, 4 is a factor of 48. Cool. I'm following the rules. So here's 4 times 12. All right. Now let's simplify. What is, and I'll write it. I'll write it in two steps just to be clear. All right, just we broke it up again like we did at the beginning. What's the square root of 4? 2. Two. two. So I'm going to write 2 times square root of 12. You can't simplify the square root of 12? That's what we need to do next. We need to simplify the square root of 12 next. So what are the factors of 12? Um, yes? 6 and 2. 6 and 2. Are 6 oh, or 2 perfect squares? Three. No. No. Four and three. Four and three. Here we go. Watch closely. This is the last thing we're doing today. Two square root of four times three. Now, two times square root of four times square root of three. Questions? Yeah. Yeah. What up? Are you okay from twelve to four times three? Are you okay with splitting the four and the three? Yes. Okay. That's all we did. Now, two times, what's, I'm writing two again. No, I just like, I don't get what the difference You'll see, you'll see. Two, I'm writing again. What's the square root of four? Two. Two. What's the square root of three? Leave, Leave it. Leave it. Four. And what is two times two out here? Four. Four. Two, three. Surprise, surprise, they're the same. So you want to get the greatest though to do the fastest? You want to get, hold on you guys, hold on. You want to get the largest possible perfect square factor. That's the goal. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.